And we are live. What's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of the Walking uh, of Game of Thrones. Uh, Y'all can tell I've been I'm tired. I've been playing a lot of on uh, Walking Dead, but yeah, this is Game of Thrones. Uh, we're still in episode one. This should be the in the end of uh, episode one. Uh, last episode, um, the Red Wedding happened. Um, we met up with a few of the main characters, the Forrester, House Forrester. So it seems like it's going to be more based around House Forrester and the Boltons. So we might, like the main villain might be Ramsey, which I'm really scared about because Ramsey is a psychopath. But we also have to play a, some politics in King's Landing. Like I said, I like how this game really does play up to the the game of thrones um like you have to make the right decisions or you, you know your family could be hurt or um like you know in the first um past you know the last episode we we killed those two men and then because of that we had to go to the wall um like things actually matter so you know it's stressful, but again, it makes it more fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I remember this part. <laughs> oh, you dumb horse. Seven L's. Oh, I'm tired. Let's play a little game, shall we? There he is. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> oh, you psycho. Yeah, he's just like cutting the shit out of him. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise <laughs> like a drowning cat i thought he'd never stop as my father likes to say the fuck? a naked man holds few secrets but the flayed man the flayed man holds none pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north he does now how much further is it to these foresters uh, a day my lord to it most. What was that? Nothing. My lord? Shh. Listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. Don't run. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. If we were friend, they would have actually 100 known we were there. Uh. Good God, I do not want to see this at all. Sorry guys, I'm really fuck I'm really tired. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Oh good, good god. Damn. No. 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 Tell you Ramsey is a fucking psychopath, man. The Boltons are crazy. Why does that look like the, the village from Resident Evil 4? Lord Ethan! Kind of creepy. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 
Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Whoa. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord Ethan. Mister. You spoke of judgment, Sir Roiland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. House is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Yeah. I'm gonna leave so damn bad. I'm gonna send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! Well, she's mad at me. <laughs> that was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. True. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Hmm. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. 
Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Hmm. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Says Duncan. He wants war. Which usually I am pretty, you know, going to war. But <laughs> in Game of Thrones, the people that, I don't know. Let's talk to him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. You had your reasons, but nonetheless, you undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Can I talk to her? Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Hmm. She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. See, that's a, a I can... told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Sir Royland. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. True. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Well, let me guess, she's going to say... I Duncan. saw what you did to that man. What do you mean? You promised me you wouldn't change... And I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Hmm. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Uh, 
I could, to be honest, I was kind of thinking that as well. Let me talk Sword to up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs right, could hold swords. This is temper's left. a little bit too much. Of course, my much. lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrod to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet, but I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I kind of wanted the maester to be it, but because the maester is really wise, he's not. You know, I kind of like the guy that's saying no. Those two, they're they're the better. Let's talk to Ryan. What Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. Aww. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honoured. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. I didn't do anything to him. I sent him to the wall. Was he... Damn. Our enemy. A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. True. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad, you can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Uh... They're the only people I can talk to? That sucks. Are you holding a sword or a- Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? That's we could saying. ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. A sensible well, plan, he, Maester. He it may the... come to that. I am glad to hear your mind is, is open to possibility. I like him. Why can't we just use him, do him? Oh my god. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? You? Yes, Mr. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I guess maesters can't have that title, can they? Because again, I like the guy, I like, I've always liked people that are like, no, like, like he would be, like, because again, it's like, most of the time, since they're not greedy, because again, both of them are like, no, I would be the better, I would be, you, you know, may they sit. want the title. 
Just I believe Lord Ethan. Just because you don't have decision. the title doesn't mean you can't still. Before be I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Can I choose him? Can I choose her? Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Okay. Tuttle! This, I think this him, is reckless. because he's really good Lord at Lord Ethan has made his choice. Dun Royland, on the I other hand... I will not disappoint you, my lord. ...is too hot-headed? And I now, think he would... Sentinel, oh, no. what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives exactly. of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Mother. What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too, it's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. Exactly. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion. I'm ready for a fight. It's just, will respect if we don't decision. have to fight, then why would we? Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the iron wood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely so to I mean... get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I 
Like I said, I don't think we need. Um, My Lord, you have named Royland, your sentinel, think, uh, but like, you still seem conflicted. We need him as sentinel. No matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if we you want to help this the, house. We need him as the powerful guy. We need him uh, to train. Forgive me. The, the warriors, I mean. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. Hmm. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher Big knocked brother. out half the poor boy's teeth. Damn. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts. And we need that. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Damn. Milady. What? You? Creepy. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. True. Which is why you must trust me, Milady. <clears throat> you need allies. It's also true. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... What? People who'd be willing to help you. Creeper? Staring at me? Damn. Still on my damn face. Better keep it walking, bruh. The helmet looks stupid anyway. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do wow. without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. <laughs> Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. 
Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. Mm. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> well, that scared the shit out of me, to be honest. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. I'm being creepy. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Hmm. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. Don't be a dick. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So basically, no matter what, so I've come up with a solution that will benefit pissed. everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What the fuck? What? what? The Ironwood. But that is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't. We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Tellers have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. Okay. <laughs> we'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 
Twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. Griff Garrison. <laughs> you have no right. White Hills have Sorry. no place here. Sorry. Lads. Just... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Awkward. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? He's trying to push it. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, yeah, no matter what, no matter what, what I did, do? he was gonna do that. I don't want the brave lord. Oh. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! No, no. no matter what, that was even though you did bend the knee, I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan. I certainly feel Ethan. better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill the fuck? him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Psychopath, Lovely man. meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Anybody can die in Game of Thrones, man. Especially in the show, in the game. He's been in one episode and he's already dead. The story has begun. Thanks. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Jon Snow. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, I'm our house will ass, not brother. fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh. That's what I'm saying. I don't think there was a, there's a chance of Ethan ever living. Because I've played it before and I, he dies, like no matter what. Uh, Le Bon Han, to the king... Sent Eric to the wall. Damn. But yeah, um, guys, if you um, hope hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Um, tune in every single day 
at 12 o'clock and we're going to keep on going until we're done with this. Um, I am going to be finishing this, the season or this, this game. Um, so definitely tune in. I, I really hope y'all enjoy the series and, uh, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. See you.